how do we forgive? How do we forgive the past that no longer serves us? How do we forgive the memories of things that cut us to our core and um, changed our life forever? How do we forgive the abuse that happened, the deceit that happened, the financial issues or anything that's happened to our lives? How do we forgive that and move on without staying stuck and writing the story of bitterness and anger? So that's what I wanted to talk about today. And what I want you to look at today is when you are in a place of anger or sadness or bitterness, you're really truly only hurting yourself. And so when we look at things, we really break things down as energy. We are energetic. Everything around us is energy. And we look at when we have stuck energy, we're literally blocking our body from being all we can be. Our body, our mind, and our spirit from being free to move into the most vast wonder and mystery that life has to offer. And so when we are in that place of bitterness and anger, those stuck feelings can cause disease and make us sick. And the person that offended us might be going along happy as a clam because they mightn't even known they offended us. Or if they did know, maybe they realized they asked for your forgiveness and they're just gonna go on with their lives and you're still stuck there having a hard time forgiving. Or maybe that person has passed and you don't get to get that forgiveness from them or the I'm sorry. And you have to actually sit in the place of your forgiving yourself for holding on to emotions that no longer serve you. So take a look at something like forgiveness as an energetic exchange. When you release what no longer serves you, you free yourself up, you free your body, you free your mind, and you free your spirit up to walk into the wholeness that you're designed to have. And so, but what if something was so offensive or so hurtful that you don't want to forgive that person, place, or thing because you don't want to say it was okay that that happened? Again, you've got to look at it from energetic standpoint. It's hurting you, not them. And so when you can release what no longer serves you, you're releasing that energetic hold. And so when you don't put your attention onto something, then it starts to slowly fade away. And so a lot of times when we're in a place of um, deep anger or deep hurt from something that has hurt us on a level that we don't even have words for, we are con continually thinking about it. And so where, when your thoughts go, your energy goes. And so if you can shift your thoughts to gratitude, love, uh, a new beginnings, breathing in something peaceful and loving for yourself, exhale what no longer serves you, starting to move that energy through, taking the focus off the thing, the very thing that you don't want to focus on and putting it on the things that you do want to have in your life, which is peace, joy, and love and, and contentment, right? And so when we focus on something, that's where all that energy goes. And then we pull in that energy and we end up getting sick. Okay, so we wanna take our attention off that, that thing that's making us sick and we wanna put it on things that are positive. Another really great tool to do is visualization. Now, I'm a big visualizer. When we try to really logically make sense of things, I personally feel like we can't do it. When we sit in a place and we can visualize and feel the change, that I can do. So some things that happen in life do not make sense and the hurt is so deep it's like it, there's no logic around it but if you can visualize and you can release and you can pull in more positive helpful emotions then you can move forward so when you're visualizing let's say it's um, someone hurt you instead of seeing that person right here in front of you hurting you all the time because every time you put your thought on that person it's bringing back that emotion you release that person in your mind's eye and you see them facing away from you you see them facing away from you two to three people away or however far you want to have them away from you it could be miles away from you but they're not in your inner circle so now you take that person that hurt you and you flip them around and you put them far away from you and you see them surrounded by the light you see them surrounded by love you see them on their journey of wholeness and healing and then you take come back and you focus on yourself and you breathe in love and positive things for yourself and every time that person comes into your mind you flip them around you put them way out into the future you see love surrounding them because love conquers all and you let them go so really um forgiveness is about letting go so if you can't let go in your head which i personally find is very hard 
it, when things don't make sense to, to forgive, you can do the visualization work and release. You also can breathe in more positive emotions, take your focus off that person, place, or thing, and put it on what you do want in life. And this is gonna start to change your energy in your body. So when we focus on what we don't want, remember we are reliving that pain every day and we're reliving and we're igniting that fire of anger, distrust, and disease that is gonna keep us stuck. And when we take our focus and put it on something positive and we release the person, place a thing that no longer serves us, then we can walk into newness. Thank you and have a great day.